<clears throat> all right I'm Ray I'm the one behind all these uh, hammock videos and uh, I wanted to do a quick intro to let you guys know that I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos from now on and uh, at least once a week maybe more and uh, I'm gonna be posting videos about hammocks knots as always but also I want to introduce my new um, website simplelifepeace.com it's a blog and uh, I'm also gonna link videos to it and um, it's about simple living how to simplify your life and uh, the you know make it more Zen I would say you could say and um, the uh, the idea is to promote simple living and, and I think hammocks are a big part of it all right I'm going to demonstrate for you a couple different ways to tie a hammock um, I have a bunch of knots different knots on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, I noticed that there's so many different ones that some people are asking which one to use which one is the best and the answer is it depends because um, you have different situations like for example a thin um, branch like this would be different than going around a huge tree real thick tree or if this was a, a metal tube metal post that's uh, slippery um, you may want to do something different all right so the easiest way is you take a uh, you make a loop first I'm going to demonstrate it with a rope and then afterwards with uh, some webbing but you take some rope with a um, figure eight on a bite because figure eight doesn't uh, put too much strain on the rope some knots um, weaken the, the rope a lot more than others so this is a good knot um, I'll, I have videos on how to do that on my channel so the easiest way is to just go around it once and pull it through that's for this side right pull it through all the way but it's better if you go around it at least once more and then go through. You can move this way a little bit. See, and that's what you got. Really simple. And uh, with webbing, it's the same thing because the webbing has a, a loop like that sewn into it. Or you could tie it as well. I have many videos on how to do that as well with the webbing. Um, that's the part that goes to the tree and the good thing about going over more than once is that it doesn't slide down um, if you had it only one time and you don't put weight on it it can slide down especially if it's not a tree and if it's uh, some slippery pole of some sort so th this part is easy now we're gonna go into attaching the carabiner to that Okay, so the easiest way I've found to do this, and the fastest, and, and it's really secure, is with a cow hitch or girth hitch. And uh, what you do is, you, with, if you have a rope, the easiest way is to just do this. You pinch it here, just a pinch, and then you, when you open your hand like that, your fingers, you just created it. See, and then you would clip in here. Let me show that again. Just do this. Take a take a bite of rope, and then you do this. Put your fingers inside. Then you pinch it downwards. That's how easy it is. See, and then you have your cow hitch. But um, see, that, that's there's just no science to that. It's so easy and fast. And then you clip in here, you just hold it, you clip into it, and you're there. 
You can dress it a little bit if you want. See? That's how easy this is. And it, and it will not slip at all. Now here's here's the cool thing. To um, move it, you just pull the little hump here, pull it back, and see how it moves that way? Then I can pinch it right here, the one that's going, this rope that's going to the tree, I pinch it here with my finger so it doesn't go anywhere, see? And you pinch that and you get it tighter, closer to the tree, and then you just pull the other side. When you pull, it stays. You could back it up with a half hinge, hitch if you wanted on a bite, but there's, it's just, I've never had to do that. It, it will not go anywhere. I used to use a clove hitch a lot, and uh, until I said, what if, does, will this cow hitch slip or not? And I tested it and it will not slip. With, uh, with webbing, it slips even less because of the flatness of the webbing. It holds tighter. And let's say I wanted to move it away from the tree a bit, then I just pull this again, and then I hold this, and I pull on the other side to get some slack, see? Pull on the other side to get slack, or pull on this side to pull it back, or pull on this side to get slack, and then when I'm where I want it, and I'm controlling it with my thumb here, then I just pull it tight. Pull it again, see? Boom, pull it tight. It's so simple, easy, super strong. It will not, it will, just will not slip. It's just a simple cow hitch. It is, it is the easiest, best way to do it. Um, again, to move it, pull here, or pull on the other side. Just like that, super easy. Um, I used to use a uh, clove hitch, which is a lot more secure, but it's, it's just, it gets so tight that it's a bit of a pain to, um, to, uh, to loosen it later, see? This is a clove hitch, and, well, I mean, and also to move it, it's the same thing with a clove hitch. But see, the clove hitch is even tighter. But after sitting and laying in your hammock for a while, it can get real tight, and then you have to like wiggle it, or you can just do this open it and just pull it out. But most carabiners have this little thing here that makes it hard for the, for the rope to go through. See, it gets stuck here. So that doesn't work that well. Um, works a bit better with webbing as well. Webbing is, is, is your best choice anyway. I'm going to show you now the same exact thing but with webbing. Alright, so I keep my webbing in these little bundles. And uh, I want to show you that first because it it's real cool because of the way you get it out of there, you deploy it, right? So you have the little bundle, and this goes inside the hammock bag. Then you just take this side, this side here, and you pull on it. And you just keep pulling, and it comes apart. So, let me show you how I do that. So here's how you do that. Um, if you notice, um, my webbing, I always sew it with... Uh, with a half twist there because it makes it uh, makes it easier on the part that goes around the tree it fits much better um, than if it was just like flat like that so I do a half twist like this before I sew it and I do that on one side. The other side, I may or may not do it. It doesn't matter. So here's how I get that nice and, and neat, that little bundle. Um, just put your fingers like that. Then you go start at the bottom. And the reason I start at the bottom, you'll see when, when at the end, 
it's so this is a bit longer but then you just keep going like that and then you leave about maybe three feet dangling because you need quite a bit to go around it all right so this is the the piece that we're gonna pull on and then you just hold it and you start going around and uh, keep going around if you don't get it if it's too long just go the other way and then at the end you lift this side a little bit with your finger maybe I do this and I stick it under and you stick it under and pull and uh, then you got you have this cool little bundle and uh, you just have to remember the pull on this little tab right here and again just pull comes right out now the other thing I want to mention is I sew mine with bar tacks I don't know if you can tell mm. It's got these bar tacks going down. It's not that box with a little X in the middle, which works for this, but this is much stronger when you do a bar tack. Um, I do at least three. Supposedly three bar tacks will be as strong as the webbing. Two, I've done it with two, it works. Three, some commercially bought have like four or five even more bar techs which is overkill all right so when we go around the tree it's the exact same thing and uh, and before and I like to go at least once around like an extra loop around and then just pull it through here simple and if you see see the half turn I put there it makes it hold in place much better all right so for the carabiner you can do the exact same thing as before you can just do the two finger thing do the loop two fingers and that and you got your cow hitch but um, many times when you do that, it'll it'll get kind of wrapped. See, this time I was lucky. It's nice. It looks almost like a tie. See, it's all flat. That's what's called dressing the knot. It's nicely dressed. It's not all tangled. Uh, for example, if you do this and sometimes it gets see that see how this is all twisted sometimes it gets a bit twisted and then you have to like dress it a bit loosen it a little bit and dress it um and you got the same thing okay hold this in my pinky by the way and the if you do it this way most of the time you cannot do it without getting it uh, tangled like this see see that it's all twisted so what you do is you hold it here and then you dress it to make it flat right so now it's nice and flat and webbing oh my god with webbing this just does not move at all because it's flat and it's laying one on top of the other like that it, it tightens against itself so it's really really secure it's 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 amazing it's so simple and so secure I love this knot 
Um, and again, pull this up to um, move it up or release this side, see, and move it down. It's the same as, as I showed you with the rope. Um, it may uh, take a little bit of getting used to with the webbing, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. Super strong, again, you could do a half hitch if you wanted, if you're scared, but there's, there really is no reason to do this. Half hitch or something, you know, back up. But there really is no need to do that. There's just it's overkill. Um, right now I'm pulling at this with all my weight and it's just not going anywhere. And the best thing is that it's so easy to to release with webbing it does not get as tight as rope um, and also let's say it's really tight with webbing it's a lot easier to just even though I have that notch here that wants to bite into it with webbing it just comes right out um, this is 5 8 webbing from REI uh, tubular which is another thing I like many people use flat webbing if you if you look at this this is tubular like the old surfers used to say, tubular man. This is, see how it's a tube? That makes it even stronger as well. Much stronger than uh, flat webbing. That's only one one flat piece. This is a tube. Um, and and this 5 8 will pull your car. I mean, this this stuff will, it, it's rated in, I don't, I don't remember how many kilonewtons. It's thousands of uh, foot pounds of force that it can resist. Um, yeah, so that that's really easy. Um, and again, it's 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 so simple. Just two fingers. You can lay it on top like that, and then make your loop, or you can loop it first if that's easier, and then stick your fingers in there. Whoop! And after you stick your fingers, just go down. See, whoop! You got the loop stick two fingers in and just bend them down turn them down and there you go and you have your cow hitch and then of course you dress it a little bit so it's nice that's it it's that simple let's say that you don't have a carabiner for some reason left it at home dog stole it from you the wife got angry and hid them what you do is you do the the best way is to do a, um, a sheet bend sheet bend is uh, bend means uh, a knot to join two ropes so a sheet bend is awesome for this because what you do is you take a loop put it through here now you could pull the whole thing through or you could do the sheet bend with the loop, which is easier. Um, and here's what you do: you, you, you're going through the loop from bottom up. It can you can go the other way, but I find it easier this way. And you'll see why. Because now you have to go through the back, and then keep your finger here because this is where this needs to go through. And then if you do that, there's your sheet bend, which is also super strong and does not slip. Okay, let's do this one more time. You don't have a carabiner for some reason. You've got your webbing going to the tree. Loop from the back to the front towards you, which is why, let me just say that I always use this angle because you're. I'm showing you how you are gonna do it, not the, you don't want to see me doing it. You want to see how your hands are going to look when you make the knot, right? So let's do this again. No carabiner. Loop from the back forward towards yourself. You can pinch it here however you want. Then you let it dangle. And remember, this is going to the tree. That's going to the tree. Let it dangle. Goes for, around the back. And it forms like this little loop already. So then you can pull it through here. 
Now, if you want it to, there you go. Now, if you wanted to make it, because this would tighten pretty bad, so it may be a bit hard even with webbing to do this. But let's say you wanted to make it slippery, like a slippery knot. Then you, you, you need more space here, more. Make your, your bite longer. You go around the back. But when you go back through, you make another bite. And that's what goes through here. Now, the good thing about this is that no matter how hard it gets, it, how tight it gets, you just pull here, and it's gone. All right, but um, okay. Let's do this one more time. Go from the back to the front. You can hold it here if you want. See to keep it neat. Pinch it there. Go around, and then pull. Now the only bad thing about this is that it's not as easy to adjust as the other one. With the carabiner it was so easy to adjust forward and you know up and down. With this you'd have to remove it at least to that point, pull it up and then go again. Which is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, again you can dress this nicer so you don't have this like that. Let's see I want to keep it nice and dressed. Keep these two flat together, pull through, they're going to be a bit more flat against each other and all that. Then when it's done, boop, pull, and pull. Quick release, slippery. So that was the sheet bend. People. So last time I'm going to show again how to bundle it together, make a little bundle. Hold it like that, around the finger, and then, and then just start going around here. So easy. Leave about two or three feet, depending on how thick your bundle ends up. I like leaving this one a bit longer, so it's obvious which one I'm going to pull. And then you just wrap around. Easy. At the end, I stick my finger under here. See that? And the last one, I stick my finger in there, and then I go through. And that's it. And you just pull on this side when you want to use it. And this will go in the, uh, in the actual bag with the hammock. Hope this was helpful. Um, like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions or if you want me to clarify anything or if you have any knots you would like me to make videos of. Peace. Um, you didn't notice, but I want to introduce my buddy here, Rocky. This is the best dog in the world. Rocky, say hi. Say hi. He's a bit camera shy.